Are you looking to create a container that will take you through four seasons? Well, join me as I show you how I created this fantastic topiary out of a sunshine ligustrum that will give us absolutely gorgeous color year round. Stay tuned. friends welcome to gardening with creekside i am jenny and today we are going to create a container that we can leave outside year round that will give us gorgeous color and interest no matter what the season may be here we have this gorgeous blue cobalt pot container it's a ceramic glaze pot you know how much i love my blue pots and in it, I have this gorgeous sunshine ligustrum. Sunshine ligustrums are a fantastic evergreen shrub from the Southern Living Plant Collection. They are gorgeous yellow lime green color that stays this year round. It is a full sun plant that is extremely hardy. You will notice here on the tag, it has all that great information on it. With the sunshine ligustrums, you need to make sure that it has as much sun as you can give it so that way it keeps its yellow color. Here at Creekside Nursery, we get tons of customers looking to create a container that will give them year-round interest that they don't have to fuss over too much. So I got some inspiration from a fellow YouTuber, Linda Vodder, who a couple of years ago created a topiary out of a sunshine ligustrum. But I'm gonna take it one step further and we're going to underplant it with some fall winter annuals. Remember, we are North Carolina, a zone 7B. So for us, pansies are a great natural choice. Now, for some of our, our folks up in the north or out west, you may say, well, Jenny, pansies for us are a spring summer plant. Well, maybe so, but here in the south, they do fantastic for us in fall, winter, and then early spring because they do like it cool. Um, for us in late spring into early summer, it just gets way too hot and we can't do them. So what I did is I took a sunshine ligustrum the other day and I went ahead and pruned it up. It was just in its free form shape. I took the clippers, the steel hedge trimmers. Um, I love these things. They're just really light and easy to use, but very effective. And I simply went along and trimmed it up. I got my basic shape with those trimmers. You, you don't have an electric trimmer or a gas power trimmer. You can also use your pruning shears. That might make it a little bit easier, but basically you're going to go kind of wider at the bottom and then come to a point at the top, almost like a little bit of a Christmas tree. And then I just took my good um, clippers right here and I really came in and I wanted to make sure that underneath it had lots of room. So back here I still have a couple of little branches that are out and hanging out and I want to go ahead and take those away because um, this is where the pansies are going to go and I don't want it to get in the way. So we're going to look over here. Oh see right here. This is a perfect example right here. See these guys? We want to go ahead and take that out so that way that the pansies and all the other fall annuals have lots of room for them to grow up and that the sunlight can get to them. I'm going to put these over here and just trim it up. Now, let your eyes be the guide and it's okay. It takes a little practice and you'll be just fine. So. When I went ahead and I got this nice big pot, you want to use a pot that's as big as you can possibly do because this was a three gallon shrub that we've put in here. So you want to have lots of room for your roots to grow and develop and hang out because you're, you could leave this in here for a year or two or so until it outgrows the pot. So use the biggest pot that your space will allow. Use really premium potting soil. Here I use the Espoma organic potting soil. It has wonderful um, earthworm castings, some mycorrhiza fungi in there, all sorts of great nutrients for these plants. So use a high quality, don't get chintzy on your dirt. Use good high quality soil. So now it's just planted in there. When you're planting your shrub, you want to make sure that your root ball is not 
too high, you don't want the root ball sticking up in the pot because um, when it gets water, it, it could, you know, shed away too much. So we have it just even right here. Um, and then I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to take my annuals. So what I have are two different colors of pansies. I've got this beautiful purple pansy. And then I also have this glorious white. I love purple and white together. It's just a really pretty color. They both have a little bit of a yellow dot in the center of them. So it brings a little bit of a nudge to the sunshine ligustrum. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna plant, and this is, this is where you just get creative, okay? So you just have fun with this. There is no like absolute, you have to do it one way or another, you don't. So I'm gonna pop, pop a purple, pop a purple in there. Then I'm gonna pop some white. So I'm gonna do three pansies, and then I'm gonna use some chocolate creeping Jenny. So this is really fun. So I've got purple, and then a white over here. So you can choose any kind of color scheme that you want. Like again, it's just, it's your total personal preference. There is no right way, wrong way to do it. Now, the Chocolate Creeping Jenny is a really fun because it is gonna be my trailer here and it has just a neat, it has a green, the older leaves are a nice green. The stalks are a nice kind of a burgundy-ish color. And then the new leaves are a nice, almost that chocolate color. So it'll bring a nice little bit of a contrast to the container. So we're gonna come over here and the great thing about this pot, obviously, is that you're gonna see it all the way around. So you can see it from all sides and it's gonna be just as pretty from one side as it is to the next. So we're just gonna continue our pattern around here and get these guys planted. All right, the container is all planted now. We've got the great sunshine ligustrum here as the topiary. We have got some beautiful white pansies, some purple pansies, and then of course the chocolate creeping Jenny. The sunshine ligustrum, the creeping Jenny, those can stay in the container year round. The pansies you can swap out in the spring. You can put some petunias in there. You could put some terinia. You could put all sorts of different trailing flowering annuals in there for the spring and the summer. Really it's whatever is up to you and that you want to do or if you just want to keep it as a topiary and the creeping Jenny, go for that. Again, there are no wrong answers. This is just kind of an idea, a method, and then you get to create it how that you want it to look for your home. But I hope this has given you some inspiration, some ideas to use at your house. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, please make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to Gardening with Creekside. We will see y'all next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye, friends.